John Barth was the postmodernism poster boy. He messed around with history in the sot weed factor. He messed around with computers and sci-fi in Giles Goat Boy or the revised new syllabus. He messed around with the epistolary novel and conspiracy theories and letters. He messed around on the Chesapeake in sabbatical, a romance, but most of all, he messed around with myth and storytelling and the novel scene from the professor's point of view. All of this garnered him great praise and fame and learned articles in learned journals. Yet now, he suddenly seems less relevant. His literary games are, well, just that, games, lost in the Finn House, which academics seem to see as the pinnacle of his work, is absolutely unreadable. Giles Goat Boy or the revised new syllabus, fun though it is, is almost as dated as his earlier works. His later works are entirely self-indulgent, humorous, pleasant reading, but essentially lightweight. Critics on Barth have given high praise to letters, and, I must say, I am in full agreement with them on this. While many of the big novels of the 60s and 70s are looking decidedly cumbersome, Letters remains not just a big novel, but a fun big novel. If it's fun you want, Barth's pastiche of the 18th century novel and early America, the sot weed factor, is even more fun. So, forget the Pomo poster boy act and just read these two because they are fun. Barth was born in 1930 in Cambridge, Maryland, where some of his novels are set. He has a twin sister, Jill and the theme of twins appears in his novels now and again. Most of his career has been spent as a teacher of literature, primarily at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, where he did his undergraduate degree.